Hello there everybody and welcome back to Tree of Tranquility. It is the 12th day of summer. Been about five days since the last recording and I have been relatively busy actually. I've been quite productive. I wanted to hold off on an update for a few days but as we leave the house we are going to get a visit from Hamilton and he has some information for us. So I wanted to make sure to include that in the video and I do have a couple of things that I can update everybody on. So the first thing is that I have been really really busy with doing a lot of my cooking. I have taken a lot of time to utilize all of my utensils that I have. I've actually switched out the oven for the aging pot uh, so I managed to cycle through all of my utensils and make different things from each of them. So those recipes of course have been added into the recipe book upstairs on the bookshelf. So if we want to have a look and we want to check that out you can see that I've managed to fill out each of these categories a little bit. We've made a couple things with the cutting board, managed to make quite a few things with the pot. It has a really, really big library of stuff to actually create, as you can see. Frying pan, I managed to make a small dent, but I still have quite a few things to make, as you can see. The oven was the most difficult piece to work with because the oven has a lot of things that require a ton of ingredients. The oven is mostly used to make cakes and in order to make a cake you usually need breadfruit, you might need milk, you might need butter, you might need eggs, you might need cheese. They're very 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 complex. So I was able to make a few basic things such as some pizzas, I managed to make some french fries, but this is going to take some work. I only saved a couple pieces of breadfruit from when I had um, grown them in spring. So this might take me a little while to actually fill out, but it's a work in progress. For the mixer, you can see I made quite a, a dent in this, and we actually almost have this completely filled out. I made some perfumes, I went ahead and made some additional drinks, and some things, like the medication here on the bottom, I could easily just go and purchase from the clinic in order to fill out those last couple of slots. And then finally in the aging pot you can see that it is very very small in terms of what it is that we can make and cocktails are included which again I could just go and buy the different varieties of cocktails from the bar if I wanted to instead of making them uh, myself. The only one obviously I didn't really touch was the bonfire recipes because I'd really have to make a, a huge effort to fill that out. I not only would have to catch all of the different fish for these recipes, but I'd also have to go and find a bonfire and take the matches and so on and so forth. So I, I mostly just focused on recipes with utensils that were actually inside of my house. It doesn't look like much, but it was very time consuming to look up the recipes online and to gather the ingredients and to make all of the stuff and then to go outside and ship things so I had more room to put more stuff in. So it's been quite a process, but it's been kind of fun. And I hope that by shipping some of these things, it will help me with Chase's five heart request once that comes along. And that will be one less hurdle for when I actually want to uh, marry him. So here's Hamilton waiting for us on this beautiful blue day and he has some information for us. I've come here today to tell you a story about one of the customs we have on this island. There's a blue bird on this island that is said to bring people happiness. The bird is so blue it blends into the sky when it flies. One day, people started calling it the Bird of Happiness. Ever since then, giving a blue feather to the one you love when proposing has become a tradition. Do you have someone you like? Maybe. Then, you should go find a blue feather and show the one you love how you feel. I'm sure you can find one. Let your heart be heard. 
Good luck! Thanks, Hamilton. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out for the bluebird. And the bluebird is going to sort of randomly show up. We're gonna be able to see the next event with the bluebird sort of at random. And so we're sort of just having to wait and see what happens. Now, summer has a lot of beautiful sunny weather, and so I'm hoping that we don't have to wait too long in order to get the blue feather. In order to trigger that event, you have to get a respected candidate up to eight hearts. Talk to them before noon when they're at eight hearts, and they will ask you to meet them under Alan's tree at Brownie Ranch. They will confess their feelings for you. They'll tell you that they love you. And if you return their feelings, then a couple days after that, you will be able to get the event that we just saw there. So that's all there is to that. Very, very simple. And hopefully once I get the blue feather, I can get all of the proposal events out of the way get all the wedding events out of the way and then I can pretty much after that just strictly focus on the bachelors who aren't quite at eight hearts yet and after that I can focus on marrying Chase which will be great. I've had a lot of really really fantastic results with my crops. I have managed to harvest the honeydew melons. Those came in the other day I'm looking for watermelon seeds. There they are. I couldn't find them for some reason. <laughs> I've managed to get one bout of corn so far. I've managed to get a second harvest of tomatoes now, once we pick these. I've managed to grow lots and lots of onions, and I keep replanting those since they grow very, very quickly. And I've managed to do a lot over with the flowers. The flowers have been coming in pretty quickly. And so that second field I have over on the other plot of land has been keeping me very, very busy as well. Managed to harvest all of my blue herb seeds that I had planted, so I have tons of blue herbs now to dye my yarns. And everything has just been going really, really great. I've been spending a lot of time on the farm. I, I certainly have had a lot less time to actually track down bachelors and give them gifts and so sometimes I, I kind of get a bit neglected on that. It's also kind of tricky to go to the mine because by the time I'm done all my chores, by the time I'm done watering and harvesting, taking care of the animals, sometimes I'm not done until almost noon. And so it, it still gives me all day to go mining and to find people and whatnot, don't get me wrong. But, oh, hold that train of thought. <laughs> we get a power berry from our sheep. Oh, perfect. I have forgotten about those. Yeah. When you get an animal to 10 hearts, you'll automatically get the power berry. So that must mean that our sheep is at max level. And that means that hopefully we will be able to get a shining piece of wool from it. And we can put that away and use that towards our rucksack upgrade, which would be great. I completely forgot my train of thought. I was basically just saying that even though I still have a lot of time in a day, if I'm done at noon, um, it does cut down on being able to track down people and run around town and do all the things that I want to do. So I, I sort of have to plan around that accordingly. There, there. But summer's been great. There hasn't been a lot of rainy days, there, so I've there. had a lot of sunny days. Very, very uh, productive and getting a lot done. You can see there, I also there. have a lot of money. I have no idea what I'm going to spend the money on, <laughs> but obviously making money has not been a problem for me at all. So I'll go ahead and pick up these eggs. I've been kind of trying to save the eggs because 
like I mentioned, there's a lot of recipes that use eggs. And so I had used a, a lot of them, but I had actually run out. And so I'll probably try and save some of those. I'll save the good quality crops if I can, the, the good onions, the good watermelon, the good tomato. I'll put those in my fridge to use in recipes. I don't get a lot of decent chicken eggs because my, my other chickens I've had for such a long time that they give me good quality stuff. So I'll use the, the good and the decent quality eggs in the cooking, but I will probably use the perfect egg, turn it into mayonnaise and get a bit of profit that way. The silkworms are doing really well, no complaints there. So I guess now is the time I can dye some of the stuff I have in my bag. I also picked up another cocoon, so I'll turn that into yarn and then I can go ahead and ship all of this stuff since I no longer need it for rucksack upgrades. It's great that I don't have to spend the time to upgrade or keep these for upgrades anymore. I know exactly what I need and I can just go ahead and ship these and get a nice decent profit off of them. So I have the blue herbs in my bag, obviously because blue is still the most profitable herb to use. So I'll use those to dye these. I'm gonna try and get a hold of Taylor on the phone and get some more blue herb seeds. They don't take that long to grow and so I still have lots of time in the season to probably plant and grow some more of those. And I think I was also going to ship some of the medicine I have in my bag because I don't really need it for anything. And if I do need medication, I can just go to the clinic and buy it. So that leaves me a couple more spaces in my bag. Some of the stuff I got to store inside my house. The milk I've been kind of leaving. I've been holding on to them and sometimes I'll turn it into butter, sometimes I'll turn it into cheese, or sometimes I'll hold on to the milk if I need it for something. The other thing that you can do is you can buy honey, milk, butter, uh, cheese, and all of that from Hannah. And it's sort of pricey, but again, if you have as much money as I do and you don't really have any idea what to spend it on and you want to work on stuff like your cooking, then that might be a, an alternate thing that you can do just to keep up with the high demand of recipes that require things like eggs, milk, cheese, butter, etc. And I've been keeping with the maintenance on the orchard and the fields and whatnot the best that I can. I have to go over to the other plot of land and water my flowers and sometimes I forget. I haven't missed a day of watering yet, thank god, but Every once in a while, it'll be five or six in the afternoon, and I'll just suddenly remember, oh crap, I forgot to go and water my other field. <laughs> because it's such a new thing to me, having this secondary field, that sometimes I, I forget. So there's a few holes uh, right now, because I had just done a massive, massive harvest on my flowers and I've just gone and planted some new ones. So I haven't quite gotten around to planting that last row on the other side. But I used a lot of the flowers I had in my house to make the uh, perfume recipes that we had seen in the recipe book at my house because I think perfume sells for a little bit more than the flowers sell on their own. But I think in fall, I might use this field for crops. Because as much as the flowers are nice and it offers some variety, overall I do think obviously that crops are the way to go. I think that they're more profitable. You can do a lot more with them. And I need a lot of crops for various things. Recipes and to ship and get money from them and so on and so forth. Flowers are really only good for gifts, shipping them, and using them in perfume, and that's it. They cannot be used in any other 
recipes. But I'm fully convinced that at this point, I've grown everything that there is to grow in summer and that I'm not missing anything. And so my summer crop and flower book should be completely filled out and I shouldn't be um, missing anything. So yeah, I really feel like a farmer. <laughs> I really feel like we've made a lot of really, really just fantastic uh, progress. And aside from keeping so busy, I honestly don't really have much to talk about. And I've already sort of gone on and on and on so much in this video that it's, it's over 15 minutes long already. I figured maybe I'd just come up to the forest and maybe just try and gather a couple things. Maybe I'll go to Hannah's and I will buy some more butter and, and cheese and stuff like that. I'll usually come up to the mining district and run through here because I will give Owen and I'll give Julius a gift. I'm still ignoring Calvin. Um, Luke is at eight hearts, so I don't have to worry about him anymore. I can get his confession, give him the feather, and marry him as soon as I get the blue feather. There's very few bachelors I actually have to give gifts to now. I'm gonna check my bag real quick because it might actually be quite full and I don't know if I can put much in it. I have a couple spaces. So why don't we go pay Hannah a visit. And you can see here that she sells mayonnaise, cheese, butter, and honey. There's a few recipes that require honey, so maybe I'll buy a few things of honey. I will buy some butter and I will buy some cheese. Once again, if you have patience, you can just make these things at home with the makers and it is pretty pricey to actually buy these, but judging by how much money I have, it's, it's not like I can't make that money back either by using these to cook things or by selling all the crops and flowers and whatnot that I have. I should also check her inventory of animals. It might be a good idea with all this money to maybe one day, sometime soon, get another animal. Because you can see that horses and ostriches and whatnot are pretty pricey. But, I mean, we have the money. The only uh, downside with having a horse and an ostrich is that they're just not entirely all that useful. An ostrich will give you eggs. Uh, which is great, but a horse doesn't really do anything. The only reason I think that I would get a horse would be just for the sake of completion and just to fill up our barn. We might be able to get a goat. That might be kind of an interesting barn animal to have. And then lastly, the other animal we don't have yet is a duck. And the ducks can live with our chickens and our silkworms in the coop. And so, again, I'm just gathering ideas of possibilities of things that we can spend our money on and other things that we can do sort of going forward. Before this video gets insanely long, I guess I should probably maybe go back to my house and just call it quits and pick up in another few days from now when I have a few more things to update on. I made it down to the bottom of the Garmin mine and so I was able to fulfill Owen's five heart request seeing as how we no longer have the Calvin glitch messing us up and so I've been able to start giving him gifts again and get his heart levels moving and so at this point the only three bachelors I think I'm working on in terms of giving gifts is Owen, Chase and Julius. And then once I have all of the Bachelor's events recorded and I'm confident that I haven't missed anything, my next step will be to approach the females and give them gifts and get their hearts high enough so that I can get them married off with their male counterparts. And there's a few girls I don't have to worry about. I don't have to worry about Kathy or Selena because they do not get married in this game and neither does Luna, unlike 
animal parade where everybody gets married. Everybody has a mate, um, but in this game, they, they don't. Right now, my inventory is a bit of a mess, and my fridge is also a bit of a mess. <laughs> and I don't think I have space, honestly, for everything that I have in here to put into my fridge. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of building and, and fixing and just rearranging here. So I'm gonna figure out a way to do that off screen, and I'm just gonna kind of go from here. I'm gonna play a couple more days and I will see what I'm able to come up with. You can see that I still have a ton of time to do everything I want to do in summer and be as productive as I possibly can before we come to our last week where we have our Firefly Festival as well as the Summer Flea Market. So I'm sure that I'll be able to come up with some more interesting things to um, talk to you guys about. That was just sort of my routine I've gotten into and just a few of the goals I've accomplished and some of the things that I have been doing. So hopefully you enjoyed this little update and I hope that I will be around to talk to you guys again soon.